is for better or for the worse. As long as we're together, we'll make it through this. I knew that it was true from the very first time I. Hi, Paul. Hi, Brooke. In the presence of God and these witnesses, take you, Paul, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to you I promise my unending love and faithfulness. You just gotta look back and remember what we're made of. When storms are raging, I will hold you close tonight, and I won't let go until the morning light. I'll stay by your side. There's so much more to you than. What meets the eye Beauty that goes deeper Than the surface I've waited my whole life To find someone Who gives love a Any of us that are a little bit older will tell you that the waves come, the earthquakes come, the relational stuff comes, things happen. And so we need to bear with each other through those challenges. Sometimes it might be a challenge within the two of you, many times it's a challenge coming from the outside. You got this opportunity to choose to put on these Jesus-like characteristics and you have the opportunity to bear the crud that this world brings to our lives and do it together and no longer alone. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your goodness and grace. We want to thank you for this day. And Father, we ask that you would be with Paul's grandma, that she would sense your presence and ours. As Father God, she has moved closer to her heavenly home. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you would fall upon us now. You created us to live our lives and to do it in love. And there's probably no better way to exemplify that than in a wedding. Where two individuals, because of their love for one another, choose to live that love out. So Father, we ask for your presence we ask that you would bless this service in Jesus name you could see it in my smile should have known it was you I would love until you Paul have the responsibility now to remember that she's holy and dearly loved by God and Brooke you have the responsibility to remember that he's holy and dearly loved <laughs> by God and so somehow, hence, he's now in his wisdom found a reason to put the two of you together so that you would share in that responsibility of treating this other individual like they're holy and dearly loved.
presence of God and all these witnesses, I pronounce you husband and wife. Paul, kiss your bride. And I turn down here. Of their story to start. So in 20, 30 years. 